بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay the next thing i'll i'll try to get into some of the submitting questions the sample submitting questions now whatever i covered previously there are also submitting questions nothing different but uh, again the questions will not be straightforward as you generally uh, the same, the way i discussed previously it's not going to be straightforward like that so it's going to be random so basically i recommend you to visit this website submittingquestions.com so basically this website gives you uh, multiple submitting questions like you can see this is the url here so randomly when you open you get random questions so basically uh, you can see this is a question here it says what is the first a valid host on the subnet that is and the node node means the device uh, this ip belongs to so again you can see the question is not straightforward it is asking uh, the first valid ip of the host now the first valid ip means after network id right so which means we need to find the network id to get the answer and to find the network id again you need to know how to write the range right in to write the range and to find the range you need to know what is the two per h value so which means we have to find the h value so the h value we need to calculate based on the bits so if you know either network or host any one you can find out the other option so which means from 32 you have to subtract 26 so it's going to be 6 6 host bits so 2 to the power of 6 the size is how much 64 now based on this range of 64 again the same first example we did 0 the first range is 60, 64, 128, 192, right? So no need to write the second one. And as per the question, he gives the first three portions, you don't need to disturb because that remains the same for whatever the class. So it's 215, 215 falls in between the range of this one. So 192 to 255, right? So which means the network ID will be 172, 31, 16, or 167 whatever it is uh, in this range right if you see this 167 so again the question is not asking the network id again the question is asking about the first valid host which means 193 is the first valid host right as per this range let's check the answer so reveal the answer here you can see the first valid host is 193 so basically this will this is like you know uh, uh, expertizing the skills because when you when you go through with this kind of question so basically you will expertise okay so this is one question so again you can move on with multiple questions probably like the next question if i just click on this the next question is asking what is the valid host range ip addresses a part of okay so what is a valid host range so he has given the IP address 192.168.251.40. He has given the IP and he has given the subnet mask. You see, this is actually the subnet mask. So it's going to be 255.255.255.240. This is something like, you know, you go to one of the computer and you see this IP and suddenly you realize, okay, this IP, this is the IP, this is the subnet mask. Now you need to figure out what is the range of IP addresses given in this subnet in order to understand the network right so the question is something like that so valid host range so which means again we have to find out the range the range is figured out based on the 2 to the power of h value right so h value you have to find out which means based on this submit mask this is 8 8 8 and 240 means it's going to be 4 bits 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 so which means the total bits will be 24 plus 828 slash 28 right so slash 28 which means the host bits will be 4 right 38 38 minus 28 32 minus 28 it's going to be 4 4 host bits so which means the size of the network is to the power of 4 it's going to be 16 multiples of 16 16 multiples as per the range which means the range will be 0 16 32 48 no need to write all because the question is about 40 so which means 40 comes in between the range of 32 to 47 so which means your valid host ip range will be how much so 32 is a network id 47 is a broadcast it is so the valid ip range will be 33 to 46 
that should be the answer so you can see the answer is uh, 33 to 46 this is the valid ip range so this is how you calculate so similar way i recommend you to go through with these examples basically here i got some more examples uh, copied as a screenshot you'll find in the workbook later on so basically the some of the questions these questions will vary again so let me do one more example here uh, i'll try to do one more example this one which subnet does this host belongs to now subnet means it's just like subnet id he's asking the subnet or the network id basically so again this we can figure out based on the slash value slash 23 that is your network bits so what is my host bits so host bits from total bits if you subtract 23 so the network bits we get so network bits are nine right sorry host bits are nine these are host bits so these are network bits and these are total network total bits total ip bits so to write the range we need to say 2 to the power of 9 to the power of h that is 512 which means how many blocks two blocks of addresses so two blocks means if you see this range the ip is given here is 172.22.151.42 so it will be two blocks so if you go and write two blocks you need to write plenty of addresses so we can directly jump to the nearest multiple of two what is the nearest multiple of two 150 right 150 152 so which means this will end on 151.255 and this will end on 153.255 so nearest two multiple you know multiple multiples of two because you're writing two blocks so which means this is your network id so the network id is going to be 172 22 150.0 is your subnet id subnet id or the network id or the first ip of the range which is the network id so similar way you can try and figure out this uh, another uh, other examples as well you can try as many examples as you can either on a single day or you can just uh cup four or five questions per day if you do for seven to ten days basically you will expertise the submitting concepts like here another question says what is the broadcast address for this one again you need to figure out the broadcast address for this subnet and here this time he has not given the slash value he has given the subnet mask so which means we need to figure out uh five bits i think five eight eight five zero and then based on that again you have to find the range to find the broadcast id a similar way here the question asks how many subnets we get and how many hosts per subnet we get if we get uh, from a network this is the address given to you which means here he has given the ip it can be ip or it can be a network id depends and the subnet mask now we need to figure out how many subnets we get now how to find the subnets so to the power of converted bits so 8870 so converted bits how many converted bits will be and again you have to figure out this is which class b class okay so b class b class means how many converted bits 7 will be converted bits so 2 to the power of 7 128 128 subnets we get similar way how many hosts you get means host bits are 9 to the power of 9 512 512 minus 2 510 host so likewise again the question here it says what does the host uh, which subnet does the host belong subnet means he's asking what is the network id so we have to find the network id here and here he's asking the similar question here what what is there here how many subnets and how many host per subnet we get based on this subnet mask so basically if you go with the same calculations and the formulas which i discussed so you'll get the similar answers of course you can use this url uh, basically to get some more questions randomly you, you can you can find those questions so once you are through with this uh, submitting questions so basically you you will be in a position to identify your networks classify your networks and also you should be will be in a position to design your networks properly and also this will also help in submitting answering the submitting questions what you generally face in the interviews or when you when you face the certification exams